Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn what is package.json and I will go very basic step by step so do not worry if you have never understood what exactly is package.json. I will start from scratch. So whenever you start or create a node project or whenever you see any node project you will see a file called package.json in the root folder of the project. So this is a json file which is present in the root folder of every node.js project and this file has information about our project like the name, description, author etc. It also has list of dependencies with version and a lot of other things. So let us see what exactly it is. So let us first create a node project. I am on my IDE, I am using VS code and I will just open a new folder here. So let me just open this folder. This is a new folder empty folder it does not have anything as of now and here i will first go to my terminal i will open a terminal and here i will say npm in it now this is the command to start a node project in this folder and as soon as i will run this command you will see a file called package.json is created now if i run this command npm in it it will ask me for it will ask me some questions and i have to give my options or my suggestions there or if i just say npm in it hyphen y or hyphen hyphen y it will use all the default configuration and will start the node project and you can see as soon as i do it it creates a file called package.json in the root folder of this project and you can see the file is here and here we have our package.json file you can see here we have name of the project, version, description, then we have some scripts, section, author, license, etc. So here in this file you will see all these details about your project. You will also see dependencies. Now let me show you one by one what all these fields mean. So to create the file we already know that you we can run the command npm init or npm init hyphen hyphen y and it will contain information this file will have information about package name your version of the project description entry point test command keywords author license git repository where is your project located on the repository and dependencies section so let us learn about these one by one let us first go to name so this is the first field and it contains the name of your project and in general the folder where you have started your project it will contain that name and if you want you can change it and it should be maximum 214 characters you cannot use a dot underscore or a uppercase letter so if i just use a dot here you will see it is giving me error that this does not match the pattern or if i use a underscore or if i use a capital letter it gives me an error so you can you should not use these and it stores our project with this name in the npm registry if you just go to npm registry where all the node projects are registered now in case you want to reg register your project you will have your project registered by this name that you give in your package.json so for example if i search for any any other project node project you can see there are so many projects and these are all the names of those projects so this is what the name field is then coming to the version this is the version of your project and if you want you can change this when you start it will always show you version 1.0.0 but you can change it and the package name along with version will give a unique name to your package then in description is the general description of your project and it will help to find your package on npm search and you can give any description to your project here so i will say this is a demo project and then we have the entry point of the project so what you see here main this is the entry point so it will always have some file that will run at the start of the project in general you will see index.js or main.js here so this will be the file that will generally get executed whenever you start your project so this is the entry point of your project then coming to the scripts section now here you will see uh, some scripts it is kind of a dictionary containing some commands or scripts which can run at various life cycles of your project so let me show you so this is our script section and you can see as of now i have a test script or test command added now to run this 
I can say if I say npm run test it will actually run whatever command we have given here so if I run this you can see it runs this echo error no test specified or if I say npm test again it runs this command whatever it is here and I can give other commands like if I say dev and I say echo I'm inside I'm running in dev phase or I say prod echo I am running in prod phase and this I will say echo I am in test phase and I will save this and now if I say npm dev or I will say npm run dev you will see it is saying I am running in dev phase if I say npm run prod it is saying I am running in prod phase so it is running these commands and then we can have pre scripts and post scripts for example I can have a pre test script and here I will say echo I am pre test and I can have a post test here and here I can say echo I am post test and now I will save and now if I run npm test you will see it will first run the pretest so I ran npm test only it is first running the pretest command then it will run the actual test and then it will run the post test so we can have pretest scripts and post test scripts as well and we can directly run using the npm commands here so this is the script section then you will see a keyword section where you can give an array of strings that can be used to identify your package in npm search so you can give some tags some uh, keywords here based on the project you are working on then you will see a author section where you can give about you can give information about the author so if you see here there is this author section and here you can give information about the author of the project like this now the license section this is important it will let people know how they are permitted to use what are the restrictions on your project by default you will see the license is isc which means internet system consortium which is a free software license and if you want to change it you can change it so that people will know what are the li what is the license what they are authorized to use and what are the restrictions on your project then we have the dependency section now if you see here as of now I don't have any dependency section because I have not added any dependencies or packages in my project if I say let us say I add something I will say npm installed now uh, also you can now see because we have created a node project and we have initialized our package.json inside this folder inside this project where whatever I will install on this project will stay inside this project or inside this folder and will not interfere with any other library on the system so if I go and take you to this folder you can see as of now we only have package.json if I run this command npm install uh, let us say I will just get this package mysql you will see a dependencies section will come in package.json you can see here dependency section has come and then if I see the folder you can see here we have got a node modules and all the packages all the libraries of this of this project will stay inside this folder and you can manage everything from inside this folder or from this terminal after going to this folder so this is the advantage it is now a separate project having everything inside this its own folder so you can now see we have got a dependency section and it will show you the dependencies used by this project and this becomes very easy for the project to maintain and to install somewhere else if I take this project anywhere else on any other system I will just have to run the command npm install and it will look at the dependencies section and whatever dependencies or packages we have it will download and install those packages for the project on a new system so this is how package.json can be very very useful and dependencies section is basically a key value pairs where you can see the 
name of the package as key and its version as the uh, the value as the version now you will also see some caret symbol here so sometimes you can see a tilde or a caret symbol i will tell you what exactly this means and here you can find dev dependencies also so sometimes if i say npm install hyphen hyphen save dev mysql and now you will see it gets into the dev dependencies so here dev dependencies are used during the dev or the build phase so sometimes if you want to keep some dependencies only for dev and build and not for uh, not in the general dependencies you can install using the hyphen hyphen save dev flag like i use this or hyphen hyphen dev flag so it will put them in the dev dependencies and if you say npm install like i showed you here if i go and just say npm install on a new system or wherever i take this project it will install all the dependencies from dependencies as well as dev dependencies section but if i say npm install hyphen hyphen dev it will only install the dev dependencies whatever are there in the whatever packages are there in the dev dependency and if i say npm install hyphen hyphen prod it will include uh, it will not include dev dependency and only the general dependencies so this is how you can make the difference and if you see a tilde character like this in the version name for example if i say 1.2.3 this will match all versions 1.2.x and will not go until 1.3.0 so if i install this project and it will check what is the latest version in this range 1.2.x so it will get the latest version but will not go to 1.3 but if i say if i use the caret symbol here just before the version it will match anything 1.x.x so when i when i say npm install it will install the latest version in the range 1.x.x so this is the difference of using these characters or symbols here and this is how you will you can get all your dependencies and manage your packages using a single file called package.json and you can manage your entire project using this file and can get all the information about your project in this file so this is this was about package.json i hope this was very useful for you and now you will always remember what package.json is and what all it can do i will see you soon thank you for watching and never stop learning